Many tri-state nursing homes are already facing staffing shortages made worse by the pandemic, but a looming vaccine mandate well, that could force some local facilities to close. Investigative reporter Paula Christian shows us why this spurs worries for one man who says his near 100 year old mother's life will get worse if vaccines are required where she lives. Dennis Pollock is planning a family barbecue to celebrate his mother Helen's 100th birthday on Saturday. The pandemic has been hard for his mother, who lived for months in isolation when visitors were banned from nursing homes during the height of the pandemic. He saw firsthand how staff shortages impacted her care back then. If you need help getting dressed, uh, there's nobody to help you get dressed in the morning. He says his mother would sit for hours waiting for her breakfast and use her walker to go to the bathroom alone, despite being a fall risk, because there was no staff to help her. And you need help going to the bathroom. Nobody answers the bell. Pollock complained, and the nursing home, which he says is one of the best in the area, made improvements. Now he worries that a vaccine mandate will cause an extreme staff shortage and make life much harder for his mother again. President Joe Biden announced last week that all nursing homes should require their staff to be vaccinated against COVID in order to keep receiving federal funding. The new mandate could take effect as soon as next month. That is a recipe for total care disaster. At least 47 percent of nursing home health workers in Ohio have not been vaccinated against COVID, according to the latest federal data. The numbers are similar in Indiana, and the numbers are even lower in Kentucky, with 49 percent of nursing home health workers not vaccinated. Pete Van Runkle worries that many nursing home workers will quit rather than be forced to take a COVID vaccine. He is executive director of the Ohio Healthcare Association, which represents hundreds of nursing homes and assisted living centers. If you don't have enough staff to operate, then you basically have to close down. There's no no in between. He worries that nursing homes in rural areas, which have the lowest vaccination rates in Ohio, may close. Ultimately, staff shortages could shut down nursing homes and force residents to move. We're already very short, and then looking at this would just be disastrous. The AARP supports the vaccine mandate, calling it a significant step in the fight against this pandemic. And the president of Episcopal Retirement Services, which operates senior services in Kentucky, Ohio, and Indiana, applauded Biden's announcement. It recently announced that it will require its employees to be vaccinated. But Pollock still worries about his elderly mother. The bigger picture is, Will this nursing home be able to stay open? Dennis Pollock has been advocating for the elderly in nursing homes since the pandemic began. He urges anyone who has questions about the staffing or the potential for the vaccine mandate to contact the nursing home and ask questions. Paula Christian, WCPO 9, I-Team. Many nursing homes are asking for federal funding to raise wages so they can keep their staff. To read more about that, check out Paula's story on WCPO.com.